Now I need the thinners. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Mona here. So if you're new here, uh, hi, welcome. And please do subscribe to my channel if you like uh, the content of my channel. If you're already been a subscribed uh, uh, viewer, then welcome back. So let's get started. So today's video is going to be a handbag collection video. Uh, I've been, uh, whenever I come into YouTube, the first uh, kind of video which I like to watch most of the time is about handbags. And uh, the more entertaining ones, the two entertaining ones are what's in my bag and the handbag collection videos. I have done what's in my bag video uh, before, so I thought uh, why not do a handbag collection video. So. I have piled up all my handbags down here and um, thought of just sharing with you my love for handbag and uh, uh, my small humble collection with you all. Okay, so I thought uh, let's finish off with the like uh, larger size handbags. Most of them are totes. I'm, I find tote to be my one of my most preferred style of handbag. So I do have like got a lot of totes. We'll finish off with the totes and then move on to the like a medium size and the smaller like a party wear clutch kind of for handbags. First handbag we are going to look into is my um God, what are you doing? So the first handbag which we are going to look into is my um Neverfull uh, GM in Jamir Ebin. I got this bag in the beginning of Jan of 2017 and uh, I use it with a, a handbag organizer. Uh, many people are scared to buy a GM size bag because of the petite frame but um, I am just 5'2 and uh, like 100 LB but I still like to carry the GM rather than of the MM. Uh, you can always cinch in the sides to make the bag smaller and this is a great work bag, a weekend bag, travel bag, all kind of a bag. The next handbag uh, is also my favorite uh, uh, tote. I carry this mostly to work for the price it is a great great leather bag so this is from the Tory Burch uh, this is called the Perry Tote and I got this in the color uh, I think it's a oak color light oak or oak something so um, I bought this some um, like uh, maybe like one of years ago and um, this is a very like a very soft supple uh, very easy to carry carefree bag and I carry it to work during most of the spring, summer, winter, autumn, all kind of uh, season and it has held up very very well. The next handbag which I'm going to show you is uh, this beautiful red one from Coach. I bought this bag maybe like um, three to four years back and uh, it has it's a very huge nice tote bag with a zipper closure that's very nice. The other two bags which I showed before this are like open style totes and this one is like having like a zipper close shop and this has held up really 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 well i don't see any kind of uh, wear on this bag there's not there's not even like a very very slight corner wear i would say but nothing much i have like used this bag like anything and it's still pretty much new so the another tote bag which I use a lot for travel and also when I um, go out with my boys is the Longchamp uh, Longchamp la, 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 la. I'm, I, I'm sorry I don't know I forgot the name but it's a Longchamp the famous Longchamp tote in the nylon uh, fabric uh, and this is in the size uh, large this is a very 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 nice bag and I have it in the uh, beautiful uh, eggplant color and I also have it in and I also have it in this uh, beautiful uh, navy color I haven't uh, used this yet uh, I've been having the both these bags for like uh, three years now and um, they have held up pretty well okay not they this I have not used it but the other one I have used like anything and it has uh, held up really really well this is a pretty uh, big tote bag I think I can sit in this like a very large tote bag but I really really love this for the uh, owl print as you can see does it too very cute uh, owl this is from uh, Kate Spade it is a very nice bag it has held up really really well I have used this bag a lot and the best part is it comes with the um, bottom feet so even if I put it down I don't uh, worry too much about it it does not uh, scratch very easily although it looks like a very like a smooth leather it does not scratch very um, easily I love this bag so I think uh, that's all 
for my uh, tote bags so I think we can move on to the medium sized ones so the first bag that I would like to show you is this um, uh, Dunienberg uh, bag this is a very 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 pretty bag I love this bag a lot uh, it also comes with the I don't know if you can see uh, the it has become like white I don't know why you the, just the 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 Dunian book uh, the label patch the leather patch over here it has become like a white maybe it, you know what if I just rub it it goes off Maybe it's just something okay uh, but I have carried it it's a pretty little uh, heavy bag but still it's a very very beautiful bag I carry it for work a lot I don't uh, usually carry it uh, outside because it's like heavy for your uh, shoulders but for work if I have to carry it like most of them I carry it like this and it's great it also comes with a shoulder strap and you can always um, um, wear, it, wear it as a crossbody or like a shoulder bag on one side The next bag uh, is my first ever high-end designer purchase. I bought this in the year end of 2013 for my wedding anniversary. My husband got this as a gift for me. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the um, Jamier Ebbin print. It's a very, very pretty bag. I don't have to say much about it. It's a very gorgeous bag and I bought it in the Jamier Ebbin print because uh, I was uh, scared of the the untreated leather getting um, oil, sorry, watermarks or something and even now I'm a little scared by any bags with the uh, monogram and with the untreated leather. So this bag has held up pretty much very very well. It's been like uh, 2013 so it's like four years already. It's in the fifth year uh, but it still looks brand new. It's still new. It's still really, really new. It's it's in great condition. I'm I don't see myself reaching out to this bag very often these days. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the size or the top handle feature or where it, it does not give me an option to put it on the shoulder at a point of time where I cannot carry it all the time in my hand. So I am just thinking of selling this bag, but again there is a sentimental value to it. My husband called as a gift for me, so I'm not very very sure. Let's see. So the other handbag is is my most favorite of uh, was one of my most most favorite of the handbags in my recent collection and I love it so much. Uh, I bought it in 2017 January. Um, so this is the my Givenchy Antigono in the small size in, in I think it's a goatskin sugar leather. I'm not very sure. So I got it in the uh, uh, silver hardware. I love how chunky the Antigona uh, hardware is. Um, I really, really, really love this bag. It's a super, super structured bag and it's great for work. So it gives me a, like a very smart look. When I, most of the time I reach out to this bag when I have to, on an everyday basis I go to work. So I, I, I work full time. I have a like 9 to 5 job. So this is a bag I carry most of the time. It goes with almost anything and everything. It's very stylish, very chic bossy very very nice and i love this bag it's my most most favorite bag if if anyone of you is looking to buy this bag i would highly recommend this i'm not sure about the other colors or the any other um the golden hardware or anything but this black one in the um the matte finish leather with the silver hardware is stunning so the next handbag uh, we have here is the um my another favorite so this is the Pushit Matisse in uh, in the monogram uh, a monogram uh, print and I I was not planning to buy this bag at all but uh, when we went to um, I think it was again San Diego no it was in LA uh, the fashion island mall we were just roaming around in the mall and there was a Neiman Marcus over there and there was a uh, Louis Vuitton boutique inside it and um, I just walked in and I was I haven't seen this until that point of time I haven't seen this bag in real time so I was so eager to see this bag in real time and I was hoping with everyone saying on the YouTube and on the um, social media world and even on the Louis Vuitton website this bag was always sold out 
so I was damn sure that um, uh, it it will not be there. But I just was checking with the essay over there. She's so sweet. She told me, you know what? Let me go and check it. And she came up with this bag. I was super surprised when I saw it in person. I was uh, I really 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 loved it. I loved it. Organization. It's simple um, uh, structure and everything. The top handle, the the versatility with where it comes with the shoulder strap and put, throw it on a crossbody. Everything. I liked everything about this bag. So if you are looking for the pochette metis or any other uh, uh, Louis Vuitton piece for that matter and if you don't see it on their website and just try to, if possible, if you have a Louis Vuitton store near you, just try to walk into the store as much whenever possible and you may get your hands on your favorite bag. Okay, this is my latest uh, uh, purchase and I bought this um, two weeks back. And I was not planning to buy this bag, but I just came across this bag in the uh, Montaigne Market website. I will, if you're interested to know how to buy uh, like um, Europe-made designer handbags for much lesser than the U.S. price, just let me know. I have the both my um, Antigono, um, Givenchy Antigono, and the bag. This bag I bought it from Montaigne Market website. Uh, the price of the bags over there in that website is really really less it's not just that website many of the most of the european based websites um over there the bags bags price are pretty much less and even if and they also the best part is they take off the vat and even on putting you know the custom stand on top of it you're going to pay way 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 less than what you'll be paying in the uh, states so this bag is none other than the valentino rock stud spike bag in the um i don't know it's like nude it's a very beautiful nude shade and in the website it said the hardware is silver but i don't think it's it's not like a pure silver it's you see it it it, it does show some gold tint but it's a very very subtle gold tint with the shade of silver i i don't think it's a pure silver it sometimes shows as gold and in some angle it shows as gold and some angle it shows as silver so I just love that uh, concept of this particular thing. I don't know, maybe in some other color it may show as like a true silver or true gold. But with the nude combination, it, 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 shows, it shows like a both the colors. So it's a very pretty bag. I just bought this uh, um, two weeks back. I haven't used this much. I just, I just used it, it twice. Uh, so if you want to see a more details of this bag, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. I can do a more... Um, detailed uh, I don't think it's like a review but a detailed look of this bag uh, and I can also show how it fits my body framing as I said I'm 5'2 I can show you like the different like mod shots and other such things okay the next bag which I'm going to show you is is this one so this bag also I bought the same time when I bought the uh, Neverfull um, actually uh, I have bought I have bought the Retiro the Louis Vuitton Retiro bag in the black uh, uh, leather but I had to return it because one of the stitching was coming off and I, I couldn't compromise on that for the price I paid for the bag so I had to return it but I didn't end up buying the Retiro for some reason I didn't I didn't feel like buying the same bag again so I bought the Neverfull and this one this is my favorite um, uh, MM in uh, monogram print and uh, this has like a very beautiful uh, like a dark eggplant color uh, interior it's very very pretty it it comes with the um, Beshita, uh strap but I I don't use it I always use it with the strap of the uh, of my yeah there it is I always use it with my um, pochette metis strap it goes pretty well with this bag and I love the combination of this these two so the next bag is um, is a very I think I don't have too many colorful bags so I think this is one of the uh, most most colorful bag in my uh, entire collection. This is the um, Rolf Lauren uh, bag. In uh, it's a small crossbody bag. It has like a two zippers on the top and like an open uh, compartment in the middle. This I bought just for like seventy or eighty dollars in uh, TJ Maxx. I love it. I love it for summer. So it's uh, easy to throw around back like a crossbody when I have to have to go grow, go out. For a quick run or something for shopping and everything this is a great bag i love this bag i don't think i'll ever get to drop this one this is a very i think the, this is one of the bags which adds color to my uh collection so i love this bag the i'm i have here i have like two um uh, straw bag kind of things the like a picnic bag or a beach bag i bought this bag for like 50 dollars or something it's a 
it's almost similar to cult Gaia and I love this bag I usually like put on some um, scarf or something here and I like this bag it, it it does not seem very practical but it's actually a very practical bag when I have to like just run for some uh, lunch summer times lunch with my kids a casual lunch I can throw in their stuff in here and my uh, keys my purse or something and it's a very great bag I can just carry it like this pull it to the table and again carry it back so it's a very nice bag the other bag which I have is from uh, Gap this is again like a straw bag and which has like a colorful pom poms here I have not used this bag yet it's like an open bag it still has a price tag in it it actually it's like $35 but I bought it for I think $6 it's a great 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 I love this bag I'm waiting for summer to come so I can properly um, use this bag uh, another crossbody bag which I have is uh, this fossil bag it's a very pretty bag and um, it has like a nice adjustable shoulder strap it's it, it, it is not like a very huge bag so it's a little small but I can throw in all my essentials in here and it closes with a magnetic closure it has some nice uh, print and colors happening around in here and it also has a uh, back zipper of the zipper compartment here I think I got this from the fossil outlet here in uh, Phoenix it's from the Tanger outlet so this is also my uh, one of my favorite go-to bag crossbody bags the only crossbody bag which I have in my collection is this coach bag which I brought, bought from the coach outlet uh, I bought uh, one in black and one in this uh, nice brown color the black one I gave it to my sister and I actually asked her which one she wanted and she said she wants it black so I gave the black to her and I kept this brown one for myself it's a very good size bag it has like uh, like enough space to carry stuff for like a quick uh, time out so and it also has like a in interior uh, pockets and a zipper compartment the only downside of this bag is there is no compartment on the outside I think I've done with all the bags over here so let's quickly move on to my um, Indian style clutches I just have I think four or five yeah this four so this bag is just 200 rupees Indian rupees it's but it's a very very beautiful bag It opens with a magnetic cloth opening and it has uh, a nice uh, space inside to put in uh, enough items for a night out. It also has a shoulder strap which I'm not a fan of but yeah if you, if you are looking for an option that is a shoulder strap. The next one is this pretty number it's like a, a, a Indian lady sitting with pot and other stuff and look at the colors on this bag it's super damn pretty this one comes with a, like a turn lock closure this is from a brand called all things sundar and it also comes with like a chain strap so this is also like a great bag most both the bags which i showed uh before this and this bag i can take it for a party and but i at the same time I can use it for like a casual bag show. This one I have not even taken it out of the bag yet. This is like a perfect uh, Paka Indian party clutch. I think you can also pair it with a nice black dress too. Um, yeah, not used this. This is again a, a bag which I brought from uh, India. It's a very beautiful bag with sparkly sparkles and pearls all over it and it opens with a magnetic opening. It is a huge space and it comes with a chain strap. Okay guys, so that's it for uh, today and that's my entire handbag collection. Uh, hope you all liked it. Uh, come back to my channel for more interesting videos like this and uh, have a very nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.